Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are talking about how to prepare for a pharmacy conference poster presentation and what templates to use. Stay to the end where I share the most important step to take. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Jessica Louie and I'm a board certified critical care pharmacist, associate professor and entrepreneur. I love helping people find meaning beyond burnout and a job title. On this channel, I talk about simplifying and well-being to combat feelings of burnout and stress in your life. I also share openly about my burnout story and how we paid off massive student loans. Make sure to watch those videos and get your freebies linked below. So you might be wondering, you know, how do I actually prepare for a pharmacy conference poster presentation? Well, first take a step back and congratulate yourself. Congratulations on getting accepted into the poster presentation. You know, you probably submitted an abstract and wrote a little bit in a short abstract manuscript type of setting to get accepted. And now it's time for the fun part, sharing your research, sharing your scholarship and knowledge with others, whether you're preparing this for a virtual type of setting or you're preparing this for an in-person type of poster presentation. I wanna say congratulations. This is a big milestone to accomplish. I remember back when I was a second year pharmacy student and I was applying into the ASHP mid-year conference. My very first big poster presentation in pharmacy school, I was a second year student at the time. I had a lot to learn and I had a great mentor that helped me through the process and I was able to publish and talk about my research and scholarship as a second year student at this big conference setting. And I hope that you're able to do this as well. Start early, get that experience, see what you enjoy doing. You know, see if you enjoy doing research and scholarship to begin with as well. Now, you might be thinking about, you know, what do I include in a poster? How do I format it? What are some of the best steps to take so that I feel really confident in this? And I'm going to walk through one simple example with you today. And of course, I have a resource linked below if you'd like to get all of our templates and all of our example files where I walk through a more in-depth poster presentation style link below for less than $20. So make sure to click that link if you would like even more resources to help you through this next step in your pharmacy journey. Okay, so what do you include? So a lot of times, you know, we're asking this question and really overcomplicating it, right? So we want to, of course, include this really great title. Hopefully you and your research team were able to come up with a title that attracts people to it. And then you want to give ownership and responsibility to the people who helped you through this journey. Usually you're not the only author on it. So you have the team members and you're able to showcase their work as well. So having an author section, with their credentials and their, you know, possibly their institutions, especially if you've collaborated among different institutions for this project. Next step is the traditional format where you probably have an introduction or a background. So in background, you might have additional information about why this study was conducted and what kind of question it was trying to answer. And then uh, some type of objective method section, right? You know, what are you trying to accomplish? You know, the first and primary endpoint, then the secondary endpoint, different things like that. What was the inclusion criteria? What was the exclusion criteria? What kind of statistics were you planning to use for this research or scholarship project, if it's applicable? And then of course, the fun part, the results section. So this is where you can have a lot of fun with a lot of diagrams, different types of flow charts, different types of, you know, just ways to showcase your data so it really makes sense and it's easy to read. Because yes, a poster is very different from a manuscript where you can get all the details and all of the text. But a poster is something that someone might look at for just a few seconds and decide if they want to stay and read it. So we want to be really intentional with doing a lot of pictures and diagrams and charts versus a lot of words on it. So this is where I highly recommend thinking about how you want to present the data so it's really easy to see at a glance, maybe even using different colors to help with that as well. Next step is results and conclusion sections. And then finally, disclosures and funding sections along with your references section. That would be a typical poster presentation of a pharmacy conference. Yes, some conferences might 
require you to include certain sections or certain data. And then also some conferences may not have you include all the data. Maybe your data is only in the midpoint stage, right? For many residents or fellows um, presenting their data, maybe you only have gotten towards collecting part of the data so you don't have a results and conclusion section yet. And that is okay. You present what you have so that people get interested in the research you're able to make connections and you're able to then maybe share more of the data as it becomes available later on. Now, what is the next best step to take to make sure that you create a poster for a conference with confidence? Well, if you're presenting in person, I highly recommend that you print a fabric poster instead of a paper poster. And this is because the ease of use is so nice. Traveling with a fabric poster, I'm able to fold it just like my clothing and it's not in this big long tube taking up you know, storage on an airplane and cargo and all these different things or being worried that you're gonna lose your poster in this tube um, while you're traveling. You know, it's just folded really nicely into your suitcase or your backpack and you're able to unfold it and use it the very same as a paper poster. So I have uh, the companies I recommend of where to print a fabric poster linked in the resource below as well. So if you're looking to create a poster for a pharmacy conference with confidence, make sure to download our templates, our video walkthroughs and tutorials for your own poster presentation. It's included in the link below for less than $20. It's a great investment to make into your education and your career journey. I would love to hear what comments you have. And if you would like to share a poster presentation with us, please include a comment below. Make sure you're also getting our other resources for pharmacy students and how to succeed in pharmacy school, board exams, and residency fellowship applications. Link below and in our other YouTube videos. Until next time, cultivate joy.